Got tight end Daniel Parker, tight end Nico Hay, and receiver Bear Manser. If you've got questions, please address the players. Uh, I would say last year, I, I didn't really, f I got a concussion kind of midway through the season. So that was one of the biggest things. And then just trying to recover from that, it took about three to four weeks, almost a month for me to come back from that. And then I just felt like I was a bit out of shape and it was kind of hard for me to get back into shape towards the last two to three games at the end of the season. And compared to this year, you know, I've been able to trim some body fat, get down to about 235, 240 pounds. And I just feel like this is the best Daniel that the, the world is going to see. So. Yeah, so I've been really just honestly proud of the way Chance has carried himself. I think he's taken a real big step from year one to year two. Uh, I think the ways that you've seen that is just like attention to details and uh, just knowing exactly what to do and how to do it on each play. And, you know, I think the next part of it is just going out and taking that mindset and executing it. You know, I think he's done a lot of good things for us in the vertical passing game and um, really brought a good bright spot to our room in that sense. Anything else for this group? Yeah, kind of for each of you, you know, more fans back at Broomfield this year. If you guys want to go through and kind of say, you know, what you think that atmosphere will bring for you guys this year and how excited you guys are to have that back. Uh, well, I think having fans back at Fro Field is awesome. Uh, speaking on like last year, you know, not having fans around, uh, it kind of made it harder to play. It felt like a practice every single time you were out there in the game. So having fans there and having their support and that crowd cheering behind you when it's third down or you're on the sideline or you're in the game, you score, uh, it means a lot. So I'm excited to see the fans back. You know, I think it's kind of hard not to reflect on it. Sometimes you look around and there's a lot of young faces you're used to being kind of the younger guy working your way up. And now it feels like I'm not feels like I am the older guy looking at all the new faces. And so like, you know, like DP came in a class after me. I think Nico was like I hosted Nico on his recruiting visit. And it's just kind of it's cool to kind of see the relationship you've built um, kind of grow and, you know, being here going with like Case and Hiron. Um, it's fun to see how much they've grown and the people around you, you know. Um, I've gotten to do it with a lot of different people, a lot of different coaches, and, you know, I wouldn't trade this experience for the world. Uh, so I think it's hard not to reflect on it, but at the same time, like, obviously, um, I want to live in the moment here and be present for this year and this team and for my teammates this year to give them the best version that I came up, can of myself, if that makes sense. Uh, I feel like all around as offense, we share the load. Uh, I don't feel like that there's uh, – we're leaning on any specific group in the red zone. I just feel like uh, all around as offense, we need to do better and we will do better. Uh, for me, you know, he's a great player. I, I think, you know, he's going to come a long way. As of now, you know, uh, we're not sure what's going to happen. We're just focused on trying to get everybody better, trying to bring everybody along and develop each and every player the best we can. And we'll see what happens come when the season starts. Yeah, so speaking on Ryan, like Ryan, like you said, he's a great player. Uh, at the same time, he's a freshman, so, you know, it's a lot on him. But he's doing a great job in the camp. And he's really shown a lot of growth from getting here in the spring till now. So I'm just excited to see what he can do for the season. Uh, I think I've grown the most in my run blocking. Uh, in high school, I was a receiver most of the time, so run blocking wasn't my favorite. But when I got here, you know, I really had to like take notes and buckle down. And I've learned a lot from Daniel about run blocking. So it's something he takes pride in, and I mean, I should take pride in it too if I want to be one of the greats here. So I've taken that from his game. And also, I've learned something from his passing game, too, route running, uh, top of the route, stuff like that. It'll, it means more now to me. So I'm really working on that for this year. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back with another.